Previously fit gutta percha cone is slowly introduced with sealer on it. I like to move it back and forth to coat the canal walls. Of course, in this technique, any surplus sealer will escape through the orifice level. On the low temperature setting, the unbent plugger, this is an 06, is pushed in after it's activated until the binding point. Then a sustained condensation force is held for 5 to 10 seconds. The plugger is pushed apically as it's rotated to break it loose from the master cone. And now we're going to tease it back and introduce a backfilling cone of the same size with sealer on it. This is an 06 plugger, 06 backfill cone. It will fit that space very nicely. Push the high heat icon, sear the cones off at the orifice level, and condense with the fat end of the continuous wave hand plugger. This is an effective, simple way to condense gutta percha in three dimensions. It's also the most effective way to remove a void that occurs during extruder backfilling. This is a very simple technique to use for a cone fit technique. It does not require pre-fitting of the plugger and it's really an excellent transition technique from cold lateral condensation to really kind of a warm lateral condensation which actually is more of a center condensation technique. It's also an excellent way to remove voids caused by backfilling with extruders. You simply take a straight unbent plugger down pack to the void Break the plugger loose instead of trying to get all that surplus gutta perch out of the canal. Throw a backfill cone of the same size as the plugger in with sealer on it. Sear it off the orifice and in virtually every case the void will be gone if you down pack it to the position of the void.